and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. Then God said, Let there be a ferment in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the water and let it divide the waters from the waters. Thus God made the ferment from the ferment from the waters which were above the ferment. So it wa- and it was so. And God called the ferment heaven, and so evening and the morning were the second day. Then God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters he called sea. And God saw it was good. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, and herbs, and yield seeds, and the fruit, tr- and the fruit trees that yield fruit according to its kindness whose seed is in itself on the earth. And it was so. And, and the earth brought forth grass and herbs that yield seeds according to its kind, and the tree that yield fruit, and his fruit in itself according to its kind. And God saw that it was good, so the evening and the morning were the third day. Then God said, Let there be, let there be light in the ferment of the heavens to divide the day from the night. And let them be for sign and season and and for days and years and let them be for lights and ferments in the heavens to give light on earth and it was so then God made two great lights the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night he made the stars also God set them in the ferments of the heavens to give light on the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good, so the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Then God said, Let the waters abound with the abundance of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the face of the ferment of the heaven. So God created great sea creatures and every living thing that moves, with each with which the waters abounded according to their kind and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good, and God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in, in the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. So that evening and the morning were the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creatures according to its kind, cattle and creeping things and beasts of the earth, each according to its kind, and it was so. And God made the beast of the earth according to its kind, cattle according to its kind, and everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind. And God, and God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have domination over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, and he created male and female. He created them. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have domination over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And God said, See that I have given you every herb that yields seeds and is on the face of the earth, or all the earth. And every tree whose fruit yields seeds, to you it shall be for food. Also to every beast of the earth, to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the face on the earth, in which there is life. I have given every green herb for food, and it was so. Then God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. So the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the, and the earth and all the hosts of them were finished. And on the seventh day, 
God ended his work which he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all the work, his work which he had done. Then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because in it he rested from all his work which God had created and made. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. All the Son, Jesus, the Son of Sirach, the Prophet, and his blessing to you, verse 11. All wisdom comes from the Lord and is with him forever. The sand of the sea, the drops of rain, and the days of eternity. Who can count them? The height of heaven, the breadth of the earth, the abyss of, and wisdom. Who can search them out? Wisdom was created before all things, and prudent understanding from eternity. The root of wisdom. To whom has it been revealed? He, <coughs> her clever devices. Who knows them? There is one who is wise, greatly to be feared, sitting upon his throne. The Lord himself created wisdom. He saw her and appointed her. He poured out upon all his works. She dwells with the flesh according to his gift, and he supplied, he supplied her to those who love him. The fear of the Lord is glory and exaltation and gladness and a crown of rejoicing. The fear of the Lord desires the life of the heart and gives gladness and joy and long life. With him who fears the Lord, it will go well at the end. On the day of his death, he will be blessed. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. She is created with, with, the, with the faithful in the womb. She, she made among men an eternal foundation, and among their descendants she will be trusted. To fear the Lord in wisdom's full measure, she, she satisfies men with her fruits. She fills their whole house with desirable goods, and their storehouses with her produce. The fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom, making peace and perfect health to flourish. He saw her and appointed her. He rained down knowledge and discerning comprehension, and he exalted the flowery of those who held her fast. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. A homily of our father, Saint Abba Shanud of Archimandrite. May his holy blessings be with us all. Amen. Brothers, if we need to escape from God's punishment and find mercy before him, we must sit alone at the end of the day and search through ourselves and ask, what have we offered our serving angel to convey to the Lord? When the night is over and the day breaks, we have to search our souls and find out what we have offered to our guardian angel to deliver to God. We should not doubt for a single moment that every person, man or woman, young or old, who was baptized in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, has an angel responsible for them until their death and to convey and raise their deeds, whether by night or day, to God. Not because God does not know what we are doing, but on the contrary, God knows every detail of it. As it is written, God's eyes are watching continuously and everywhere, the evildoers and the righteous. But the angels are servants appointed by God for those who are going to inherit salvation. Let us conclude the homily of our father, Saint Abba Shenouda the Archimandrite, who has enlightened our minds and the eyes of our hearts. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the one God. Amen. The praise of the first hour of the Monday of the Holy Pascha, may its blessings be with us all. Amen. O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, power, and glory forever and ever. Amen. Kyrie eleison thok teti gom nem biro nem bismo nem biamai shayne amin emanuel benoti benoro thok teti gom nem biro nem bismo nem biamai shayne amin ben 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, power and glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Salmos to the Avin
From the psalm of our teacher, David the prophet and king, may his blessings be with us, Allah, amen. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who only does wondrous things, and blessed be his glorious name forever, and let the whole earth be filled with his glory, amen and amen. pity and mercy on us and make us worthy to listen to your holy gospel a chapter from the holy gospel according to Saint Mark the evangelist and pure disciple may his blessings Now the next day when they had come out from Bethany, he was hungry and seeing far, far away a fig tree having leaves, he went to see if perhaps he would find something on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season of figs. In response, Jesus said to it, Let no one eat fruit from you ever again. And his disciples heard it, so they came to Jerusalem. Then Jesus went into temple and began to draw out those who bought and sold in temple and overturned the table of money changers and the seats of those who sold house. And he would not allow anyone to carry warrows through the temple. Then he thought, saying to them, It is not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. But you have made it a den of thieves. And the scribes and chief priests heard it, and sought how that they might destroy him. For they feared him, because all the people were astonished at his teachings. When evening has come, he went out of the city. Now in the morning, as they passed by, they saw a fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter remembered saying him, 
Rabbi, look, the fig tree which you cursed has withered away. So Jesus answered and said to them, Have a faith in God, for assuredly I say to you, whoever say to this mountain, Be moved and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believe that those things he says will be done. He will have whatever he says, therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask, when you pray, believe that you received, and you will have them. In Abraham, in Yod, in Shirin, in Bibn of Mathuab, in Oth, in Oth, I mean, the prophecy, the bus, the prophecies of the third hour of the month of the Holy Basra is basically the same in Isaiah the prophet. Or to those who call evil good and evil and good evil, who puts darkness from light and light for darkness, who puts bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Well, to those who are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Woe well, to those to men and mighty at, dr at drinking wine. Woe well, to those men ve venom for mixing intoxicating um, drink who justify the wicked for a bribe and take away justice from the righteous man. Therefore, as the fire devour the, the stumble, stubble and the, fire and the flame Consumers of chaff, so so their roots will be as rottenness, and their blossom will ascend like dust, because they have rejected the law of the Lord of hosts, and despise the the word of the Holy One of Israel. Therefore, the anger of the Lord is is aroused against His people. He has stretched His hands against against them and stricken them, and the hills. Tremble, their carcasses will refuse in the midst of, in the midst of the street. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his but his hand is stretched out still. He will lift up a banner to the nations for, from afar, and will whis whistle to them from the end of the earth. Surely, surely they s shall come with speed swiftly. No one will be weary or stumble. Among them, no one will slumber or sleep. Nor will, be, nor will the belt on their loin, loins be loosened. Nor the strap of the, their sandals be broken, whose, whose arrows are sharp and all their bows bent. Their horses, horses will, will seem like and their wheels like a wheel whirlwind. Their roaring will be like a lion. They will roar like young lions. Yes, they will roar and lay hold of their prey. They will carry it away safely and no one will deliver it. Deliver. In the day, they will roar against them like the roaring of the sea. And if one, and if one to the, looks to the land, behold darkness and sorrow. And the light is darkness to the God. Glory be to the Holy Trinity in the Father and Son. Also from Jeremiah the prophet, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. Who is the wise man who may understand this? And who is he to whom the mouth of the Lord has spoken, that he may declare it? Why does the land perish and burn up like a wilderness, so that no one can pass through and the Lord said, Because they have forsaken my law, which I set before them, and have not obeyed my voice, nor walked according to it, but they have walked according to the dictates of their own hearts, and after the Baals, which their father taught them. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will feed them, this people, 
with wormwood and give them water of gall to drink. I will scatter them or I will scatter them also among the Gentiles, whom neither they nor their fathers have known, and I will send a sword after them until I have consumed them. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider and call for their mourning women, that they may come, and send for skilful wailing women, that they may come. Let them make haste and take up a wailing for us, that our eyes may run with tears, and our eyelids gush with water. For a voice of wailing is heard from Zion, how we are plundered. We are greatly ashamed, because we have forsaken the land, because we have been cast out of our dwellings. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The doxology of the third hour of the Monday of the Holy Pascha is blessing with us all. Amen. Lord, hear us and pray thankfully, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thou will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation. Deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thus the kingdom, power, and glory forever. Amen. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation. Deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, thou is the kingdom, thou art glorified. Salmos tunda
سالیم Teacher David, the prophet and king, may his blessings be on us all. Amen. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet have been standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. pity and mercy on us and make us worthy to listen to your holy gospel a chapter from the holy gospel according to saint mark the evangelist and pure disciple may his blessings went into Jerusalem and into the temple so when he had looked around at all things as the hour was already late he went out to Bethany with the twelve now the next day when they had come out from Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing from afar a fig tree having leaves, he went out to see if perhaps it, he would find something on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. In response, Jesus said to it, Let no one eat fruit from you ever again. And his disciples heard it. So they came to Jerusalem. Then Jesus went into the temple and began to drive out those who bought and sold in the temple and overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. And he would not allow anyone to carry wares through the temple. Then he taught, saying to them, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a den of thieves. 
And the scribes and the chief priests heard it and sought how they might destroy him, for they feared him, because all the people were astonished at his teaching. When evening had come, he went out of the city. Glory to you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the one God, Amen. The prophecies of the sixth hour of the Monday of the Holy Bascha. May its blessings be with us all. Amen. From the book of Exodus of Moses the prophet, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. And the Lord said to Moses, Go get down, for your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made themselves a molded calf and worshipped it and sacrificed to it and said, This is your God, O Israel that brought you out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord said to Moses, I have seen this people, and indeed it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may burn hot against them and I may consume them. And I will make you make of you a great nation. Then Moses pleaded with the Lord his God and said, Lord, why does your wrath burn hot against your people, whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians speak and say, He brought them out to harm them, to kill them in the mountains, and to consume them from the face of the earth? Turn from your fierce wrath and relent from this harm to your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, your servants, to whom you swore by your own self, and said to them, I will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven. And all this land that I have spoken of, I give to your descendants, and they shall inherit it forever. So the Lord relented from the harm which he said he would do to his people. And Moses turned and went down from the mountain, and the two tablets of the testimony were in his hand. The tablets were written on both sides, on the one side and on the other they were written. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Also from the book of Wisdom of Solomon the Prophet, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. From the book of wisdom of Solomon the prophet, may his blessings be the Solomon. Love righteousness, you rulers of the earth. Think of the Lord with uprightness and seek him with the sincerity of heart. Because he is found by those who do not put him to test and manifest himself to those who do not distrust him. For perverse thoughts separate men from God. And when his, men, and when his power is tested, it, con it convicts the dullish. Because wis wisdom will not enter a deceitful soul, nor dwell in a body enslaved to sin. For a holy and disciplined spirit will flee from deceit, and will rise and depart from foolish thoughts, and will be ashamed at the approach of unrighteousness. For wisdom is a kindly spirit, because God is a wi for, for wisdom is a kindly spirit, and will not free a blasphemer from the guilt of his words, because God is witness of his inmost feelings, and a true observer of his heart, and hero of his tongue. Because the Spirit of the Lord has filled the world, and that which holds all things together knows what is said. Therefore, no one, utters, no one who utters unrighteous things will escape notice and justice. When he punishes, will not pass him by. For inquiry will be made into the counsels of an ungodly man. And a report of his words will come to the Lord to convict him of his lawless deeds. Glory be to, Holy, to the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The praise of the sixth hour of the Monday of the Holy Pascha. May its blessings be with us all. Amen. 
O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Kyrie eleison thok teti gom en bion 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 thok teti gom en bion 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 en bion
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, power and glory.
Ke per to katakseio theni mesti sacro ta sosto agio vangeleio kirio. Psalms of our teacher David, the prophet and king. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. Where the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, to the testimony of Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. pity and mercy on us, and make us worthy to listen to your holy gospel, a chapter from the holy gospel, according to St. John, the evangelist and pure disciple, may his blessing Passover of the Jews was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem, and he found in the temple those who sold oxen and sheep and doves, and the money changers doing business. When he had made a whip of cords, he drove them all out of the temple with the sheep and the oxen, and poured out the changers' money and overturned the tables. And he said to those who sold doves, Take these things away. Do not make my father's house a house of merchandise. Then his disciples remembered that it was written, Zeal for your house has eaten me up. The prophecies of the ninth hour of the Monday of the Holy Pascha, especially with us, I mean, from the book of Genesis. And the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat of it you shall surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him. Out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every bird of the air, and brought them to Adam to see what he would call them. And whatever Adam called each living creature, that was its name. So Adam gave names to all cattle, to, to all cattle, to the birds of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found a helper comparable to him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam, and he slept, and he took one of the ribs and closed up the flesh in its place. Then the rib which, he, which the Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman, and he brought her to the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God has made. And he said to the woman, Has God indeed said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, you shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. 
For God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. She also gave her husband with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they know that they were naked. They, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves coverings. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves in the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Then the Lord God called to Adam and said to him, Where are you? So he said, I heard your voice in the garden. I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you that you should not eat? Then the man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave of the tree, and I ate. And the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle, and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go, and you shall eat dust of all the days of your life. And I will put, I will put enmity before you, between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He, he shall bruise your head, and, he sh and you shall bruise his heel. To the woman he said, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your conception. In pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. Then to Adam he said, Because you have heeded the voice of your wife, and have eaten from the tree of which I have commanded you, saying, You shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for your sake. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Both thrones and thistles it shall bring forth to you, and you shall eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of your face you shall not eat bread till you return to the ground. For out of it you are taken, for dust you are, and to dust you shall return. And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Also for Adam and his wife, the Lord God made tunics of skin and clothed them. Then the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become like one of us, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put out his hand and take also the tree of life, and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him out of the garden of Eden to till the ground from which he was taken. So he drove out the man, and he placed Jerobim at the east of the garden of to the Garden of Eden, and a flaming sword which turned every way to guard the way of the tree of life. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. From Isaiah the prophet, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. Comfort, yes, comfort my people, says your God. Speak comfort to Jerusalem and cry out to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned. For she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill brought low. The crooked places may, shall be made straight and the rough places smooth. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. From the Proverbs of Solomon the prophet, may his blessings be with us all, amen. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, judgment, and equity, to produce prudence to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and, and increase learning, and a man of understanding will attain wise counsel. To understanding a proverb and an enigma, the words of the wise and their riddles. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. My son, heed the instruction of your father, and do not forsake the law of your mother. For they will be graceful, for they will be a graceful ornament on your head and chains around your neck. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> The doxology of the ninth of the Monday of the Holy Pascha is blessing with us all. I mean, hear us, Lord, pray together, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, and thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not temptation, deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, thine is the kingdom, power, and glory forever.
we'll pray together. Our Father,
Υπότιτλοι 
ਸੀਸ ਵੋ ਰੰਗਲਿਓ ਨੇ ਤੋ ਤਮਤੇ ਯੋਨਾ ਗਈ May his blessings be with us all amen you will answer us on god of our salvation you who are the confidence of all the ends of the earth and of the far seas blessed is the man whom you choose and cause to approach you that he may dwell in your courts forever <coughs> oh lord have pity on us and make us worthy to listen to your holy gospel a chapter from the holy gospel according to saint matthew the evangelist the apostle and pure disciple may his blessings be with us all amen now when he came into the temple the chief priests and the elders of the people confronted him as he was teaching and said by what authority are you doing these things and who gave you this authority but jesus answered and said to them i also will ask you one thing which if you tell me i likewise will tell you by what authority i do these things the baptism of john where was it from from heaven or from man and they reason among themselves saying if we say from heaven he will say to us why then did you not believe him but if we say from men we fear the multitude for all count john as a prophet so they answered jesus and said we do not know and he said to them neither will i tell you by what authority i do these things holy blasphemy its blessings be with us all amen thus says the lord where is the certificate of your mother's divorce whom i have put away or which of my creditors is to whom i have sold you for your iniquities you have sold yourselves and for your transgressions your mother has been put away why when i came was there no man why when i called was there no, none to answer is my hand shortened at all that it cannot redeem or have i no power to deliver indeed with my rebuke i dry up the sea i make the rivers a wilderness the fish stink because there is no water and die of thirst i clothe the heavens with blackness and i make sackcloth their covering glory be to god for him. From Jesus, the son of Sarah, to the prophet, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. To fear the Lord is the root of wisdom, and her branches are long life. 
Unrighteous anger cannot be justified, for a man's anger tips the scale of his run, of his ruin. A patient man will enjoy until the right moment, and then joy will burst forth for him. He will hide his words until the righteous moment, and the tips of many will tell you his good sense. In the lip, in the lips of many will tell you good sense. In treasuries are of wisdom are wise sayings, but godliness treasures are wisdom of saying of wise sayings. A dominant, but godliness is an abomination to a sinner. If you desire wisdom, keep commandments, and the Lord will supply you supply it for you. For the fear of the Lord, of the Lord is wisdom and instruction, and He delights in in fit, fidelity, fidelity, and meekness. Do not dis- disobey the fear of God of the Lord. Do not approach Him with a divided mind. Be be not a hypocrite and in men's sight, and keep watch over your lips. Do not exalt yourself, lest you fall, and thus bring dishonor upon yourself. The Lord will reveal the secrets and cast you down in the midst of the congregation, because you did not come to fear of the Lord, and the heart was full of despair. Glory be to the Holy Spirit, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.
In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, I mean, a homily of our Father, Abba, Shenouda, the Archiman of Dried, may his holy blessings be with us all, Amin. Occasionally, there are some deeds which we may think they are good, while in God's eyes they are bad. For example, the unqualified tolerance of sinners in holy places may lead them to be indifferent to sin. For example, the Lord did not plant good trees and bad trees in paradise, but only good trees. He did not plant fruitless trees with bad fruits. Even man himself, when he disobeyed the commandment, he was not indifferent about man's iniquity, but expelled him from paradise. For this we can see, dear beloved, that the houses of the Lord should not be filled with bad and good people, as is the case in the world, where the saints and the sinners, the unjust and the impure, mingle together. It is incumbent upon us to remind those who come to the house of the Lord to behave appropriately. I know that the whole world, that the whole earth is God's, but if we make his house just like the rest of the earth, what is going to distinguish the house of the Lord from the rest? If I, as a servant of God, commit the same bad deeds as the wicked, then I do not deserve to be called a servant of God, for we often sin and unable to judge ourselves with the same standard we judge others. Yes, you see, you see no, no one can fill your place with dirt unless they notice your lack of interest in it. Just like the king's pages, they cannot let everyone in the king's house, whether they honor the king's decree or whether they ignore them without the king's permission. If they deviate from this rule, they receive punishment. We conclude the homily of our Holy Father, of our Shinuda, the Archimedrite, who enlighten our minds and our hearts in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen.
The praise of the eleventh hour of the Monday of the Holy Pascha, may its blessings be with us all. Amen. O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, power and glory for ever and ever. Amen. Kyrie eleison to teti gon embiorn embismon embiamai shaini amin amen uir ben nanti ben horos to teti gon embiorn embismon embiamai shaini amin ben choice Jesus ben Christos to teti gon embiorn embismon embiamai shaini
Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, grant us the kingdom, power, and glory for ever and ever. Amen.
Lest I sleep the
Psalms of our teacher David, the prophet and king, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. Consider and hear me, O Lord my God, enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death, lest my enemy say, I have prevailed against him. O Lord, have pity and mercy on us, and make us worthy to listen to your holy gospel. A chapter from the holy gospel according to St. John, the evangelist, apostle, and pure disciple, May his blessings be with us all. Amen. Most assuredly, I say to you, if anyone keeps my word, he shall never see death. Then the Jews said to him, Now we know that you have a demon. Abraham is dead, and the prophets. And you say, If anyone keeps my word, he shall never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who is dead, and the prophets are dead? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father who honors me, of whom you say that he is your God. Yet you have not known him, but I know him. And if I say I do not know him, I shall be a liar like you. But I do know him and keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. And he saw it and was glad. Then the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and have you seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, Before Abraham was I. Then they 
and took up stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God. I mean, the commentary of the first hour of the Monday of the Holy Pascha is blessing be with us all. I mean, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth, and His Spirit was there. He made a distinction between night and day. He called the light day and the darkness night. He created this with great wisdom. On the second day, God separated the sky from the waters and called it heaven. On the third day, he gathered the waters and separated it from the earth. On the fourth day, he created the sun, moon, and the stars. On the fifth day, he created the birds, fish, animals, trees, and plants. On the sixth day, he created Adam, the first human being, and a female companion for him. He gave them dominion over all his works. On the seventh day, he rested, for he had completed all his works. This was according to his divine plan. Let us glorify and exalt his name according to his great mercy. Christ our Savior, Savior came to suffer for us, that he may save us through his suffering. Let us glorify and exalt his name according to his great mercy. Commentary of the third hour of the Monday of the Holy Pascha is blessings be with us all. Amen. On Sunday evening, our Lord Jesus Christ went outside Jerusalem with his disciples. He became hungry and saw from a distance a fig tree. So he went to it to get some fruits. But he found leaves with no fruits, so he cursed the tree, and immediately it withered. His disciples marveled. Have faith in your hearts, and God will grant you everything you ask for. Do not be surprised that the fig tree had withered from one word. For if you have faith, you will order the mountains to move from its place. Therefore, learn a lesson from this fig tree, and be fruitful, and repent to gain forgiveness. Pray hard with tears, and light lanterns with virtues so that it may shine upon you on the day of judgment. Share the suffering with your brothers and think how much Jesus had suffered for you to save you. Christ our Savior came and suffered for us that he may save us through his suffering. May we glorify and exalt his name according The commentary of the sixth hour. How dare you, Israelites, to change the place of forgiveness into a place of sin and the house of prayer into a den of thieves and a place for cattle, sheep, doves, and money changes? What is that prophet full of evil and unjust? When Jesus looked at his father's house and found that you have made it a place for robbers and traders, he kicked out all the cattle cattles and merchants and, over, 
and overturned the tables of the money changers. When the disciples saw this, they remembered that it was written about him. Zeal for your house has eaten me up. He, he did that with authority. Your dominion is everlasting on heaven and earth, and your might has moved the mountains, but Israel has ignored that. Therefore, they were deprived for, for your help and support. Christ, our Savior, came and suffered for us, that he may save us through his suffering. The commentary of the ninth hour. You have created me with your pure hands and made me in the best form. You have granted me the paradise, the fruit of the trees, and dominion over all the creatures. You have made me self-sufficient and gave me only one commandment, and I disobeyed it. I beseech you, Lord, to forgive me according to your great mercy. I saw you, Adam, lonely. Therefore, I created a companion for you from your bones. I said, it is not good for man to be alone. And I was concerned about you, and I gave you all the authority over the, over the creation. You obeyed Eve and left my commandment. I beseech you, Lord, to forgive me according to your great mercy. Remember, O Lord, that I am dust, and you gave me power. You have forbidden me to eat from one tree, but I disobeyed you and blamed the woman you gave me and hid behind the tree so as not to see you. God told Adam, Because you listened to your wife, and ate the fruit which I told you not to eat. The earth is cursed, and it shall produce thorns and weeds for you, and you will have to work hard and sweat to make the soil productive. God told Eve, With pain and sorrow you shall bring forth children, and your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall ru rule over you. I beseech you, Lord, to forgive me according to your great mercy. God said, Now Adam has become like on one of us, and has knowledge of what is good and what is bad. Therefore, God drove him from the garden, and he, he put the cherubims and a flaming sword to keep anyone from coming near paradise. I beseech you, Lord, to forgive me according to your great mercy. Where do I go from your spirit, and where do I flee from your face? If I rise up to the heavens or go down to the deep earth, you are there. I beseech you, Lord, to forgive me according to your great mercy. Adam, being outside the paradise, went to till the earth and eat of its fruit, fruits. And as a result of listening and obeying the devil, Adam and Eve lived in slavery. Christ our Saviour came and suffered for us, that he may save us through his suffering. He was glorified and exalted his name according to his great mercy. The commentary of the eleventh hour. O Jesus Christ, the true light, who shines all over the earth and nations. But the Jews did not come to the light and did not believe in him. Moreover, they accused him that he casts out devils by the power of the devil. When Jesus had mentioned that whoever believes in him shall not die, the Jews accused him, saying, Even Abraham and the prophets have died, so how can your believers not die? You are not even fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? So Jesus answered, that he had existed even before Abraham lived, and that even if he honours himself, that honour will be worth nothing. We, the believers, confess from all our hearts that Jesus Christ our Lord existed since the beginning with the Father and the Holy Spirit. But the Jews, in spite of all the miracles that he had performed in front of them, did not understand that he is the Saviour, as the prophets said and refused to accept him. Christos pe en sotir Ave ea sheyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeye
Again, we stand and we bend our knees. Have mercy upon us, O God, our Savior. Again, we stand and we bend our knees. Have mercy upon us, O God, and have mercy. Tov hina in tev noti nainan, in tev shen hit haron, in tev sotem eron, in tev ervoith in eron, in tev et shi in niti honem nitob him tenieth o abentaf in totoi riego ne piagathon in se univen, in tev kanen novi nanevo. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion on us, hear us, sustain us, and continuously accept the prayers and supplications of his saints on our behalf for our good always, and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Ask for the peace of the one only holy, universal, and apostolic Church, and the salvation of God in the congregations, and for the safety of every place, and the forgiveness of our sins. Yeah. Ask for our fathers and brothers who are sick with any type of sickness here and in all other places, so that the Lord would cure them and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Ask and pray for our fathers and brethren who are actually on travels and them anywhere who intend to travel, that God may facilitate the ways of all of them whether by sea, river, lake, or on the beaten tracks, or air, or those traveling by all means, that Christ our Lord may bring them back to their homes in safety and forgive us our sins. Ask and pray for the rains, the winds of the heavens, and the fruits of the land, and all the trees and vineyards, also that every fruitful tree be blessed and grow in safety and for the forgiveness of our sins. Lord, have mercy. Ask and pray that God may give us mercy and sympathy in the hearts of all the rulers, presidents and kings at all times and forgive us our sins. Ask and pray for our fathers and for our brethren who have slept and rested in the faith of Christ from the beginning. Our holy fathers, the archbishops, our fathers, the bishops, our fathers, the priests, our brethren, the deacons, our fathers, the monks and nuns, and our fathers, the laymen. And for the repose of all the Christians, the Christ our Lord may rest all their souls in the paradise of joy, and we as well, may he have mercy on us and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Ask and pray for them who attend to the sacrifices, the oblations, the first fruits, the oil, the incense, the coverings, the books of the readings and the vessels of the altar, that Christ our God may reward them in the heavenly Jerusalem and forgive us our sins. Ask and pray for the catechumens of our church that the Lord blesses them and enlightens their hearts and confirms them in the faith of the Holy Orthodox Church until the end of their life and forgives us our sins. Lord, have mercy. 
ask and pray for this holy church and all the churches and monasteries of the Orthodox people, the Orthodox fathers of the church, and for the whole world that God grants all of us security and keeps us away from all evil and forgives us our sins. Let us pray and ask for the life and the standing of the Honorable Father, Archbishop Patriarch Papa Vert, of Adras II, and his part of Apostolic Minister Bishop Amber, then he that the Lord may preserve their life, confirm in see for many years and peaceful times, and forgive us our sins. Let us pray and ask for our Orthodox Fathers everywhere, the Metropolitans, the Bishops, the Agamemnons, the Priests, the Deacons, all the orders of the Church, the Christ our God, May preserve and strengthen them, and may He forgive us our sins. Let us, uh, let us pray and ask for the assembly of ours, and for all the assemblies of the Orthodox people, that the Lord our God may bless them, and fulfill, and may God bless them and fulfill them in peace, and forgive us our sins. Let us pray and ask for the hierarchies of the Holy Church and for all the orders of the clergy, that the Lord our God may bless and strengthen them, and may He forgive us our sins. Let us pray and ask for those who toil in the Holy Church, and for the Orthodox people, that the Lord our God may have mercy upon them, and may He forgive us our sins. Let us pray and ask for all, Christ-loving rulers, who asked us to pray for them by name, that the Lord our God may remember them in His mercy, and grant them favor before powerful rulers, and forgive us our sins. Let us pray and ask for the poor, the weak, the farmers, and for every soul in many type of hardship, that the Lord our God may have compassion on them, and on us, and may He forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray and ask for those who are in distress, or in jail, in prison, or captivity, or exile, or for those who are bound by the devils, that the Lord our God may free them from their hardship, and may He forgive us our sins. Let us pray and ask for all those who are gathered with us today in this holy place, seeking mercy for their souls, that the Lord's mercy may encompass both us and them, and may He forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray and ask for each person by name who asks us to remember them in our prayers, that the Lord our God may always remember them in His goodness, and may He forgive us our sins. Let us pray and ask for the rising of the waters of the rivers this year that Christ our God may bless them and raise them according to his measure. Give joy to all the all, may give joy to all the earth with the Nile, all the rivers, sustain us and deliver man and animal and spare, and spare the world from death, from scarcity, plagues, devastation, the sword of the enemy. And that may he grant calm, peace, security to the Holy Church. Raise the state of Christians in every place on earth until the last breath, and may He forgive us our sins. Let us pray and ask for this holy Basca of our good Savior that He may complete it for us in peace and bring us with the joy of His holy resurrection in safety, and may He forgive us our sins.
Jesus Christ, our true God, who accepted the passion willingly and was crucified on the cross on our behalf, may he bless us with all spiritual blessings, help us, and complete for us the holy Pascha, and show us the happiness of his holy resurrection for many years to come, through the never-ending intercessions of the blameless Holy Lady, the Theotokos Saint Mary, and all the choirs <coughs> of angels and archangels, through the prayers of the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the martyrs, the just and the righteous, the cross-bearers, the ascetics, the confessors and the anchorites, and through the blessings of the holy Pascha of our good Saviour. May their holy blessings, their grace, their power, their gift, their love and their help be with us all forever. Amen. Be Christos benoti. Ebrodon te tihirini, moinan and te kirini, semninan and te kirini, kananovinan evon, jethok te tigom, nempi o, nempis mo, nempi amahi shine, amin. O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father, who art in heaven, Tonight's Basca is from 6 to 9 p.m. Tomorrow morning there'll be an early Basca from 6 to 8 and then the normal Basca from 9 to 12. And now the love of God the Father and the grace of his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the gift and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Go in peace, the Lord be with you. And do this with